Now let's continue with determinants of 3 by 3 matrices. A 3 by 3 matrix is a matrix which has 3 rows and 3 columns. Take note of this. 3 rows and 3 columns. Here we are to evaluate the determinants of these matrices. So what we always do is give signs to each of these cells. Plus for this, minus for this. This cell is given a plus sign. On the second row, the signs are minus, plus, minus. And on the third row, plus, minus, plus. So let's go. First, you take plus two. We are going to find our determinant along this row. You could find your determinant along any row or column. Any of the three rows or column can be used for finding our determinant. So you could take your determinant along this first row. What you do is very simple. Take these two and multiply it by its sign. 2 times plus is plus 2. After taking 2, what you have left is what? What you have left is 3, 4. Can you see? What I have left is, you know, numbers that are not shaded. So what you have left is what? 3, 4, 0, and minus 1 here. So 3 times 1 is 3. 0 times 4, 0. You evaluate that. You go ahead and take 1. When you take 1, Look out for what sign should multiply 1. It's minus. Minus times 1 is minus 1. So you write minus 1 down next. That gives you what? 1 minus 1. That gives you minus 1 times. If you cross minus 1 or cross 1. If you cross 1, when you cross 1, what do you have left? You have minus 1, 4, and 5, 1 left. So you put that together and evaluate it as usual. Next, you go to the next element in that row, which is minus 3. Minus 3 should be given a plus sign. Plus times minus 3 is minus 3 still. So you write minus 3 down. Now, when you pick minus 3 in that matrix, it's along the first row and the third column. Let's cross those out. Let's cross that, Let's cross out that row and column. And we have minus 3. And we have minus one three five zero left. So this is what I have left. I'll put it together here and evaluate. So that will give me what? Three times one, three. Zero times four, zero. Three minus zero, three. That's two times three. Also, in the second place here, I'll minus one times then what do I have left? Minus one times one. That's minus one. 5 times 4, that's what, 20. That's minus 1 minus 20. So you give minus 21. Then on the third side too, on the third step too, I have minus 3 times. Minus 1 on the right diagonal, minus 1 times 0 is 0. Then 5 times 3 is 15. So 0 minus 15 will give us minus 15. So on evaluating, that gives me what? 6 plus 21 plus 45, that's 71. Let's go ahead and do this together next. So I'm finding my determinant here. Minus 4, 7, minus 6. I'm finding my determinant here along the second row. So I'll take 4. What sign should multiply 4? Minus. So I write minus 4 down. After taking 4, what do I have left in the matrix? After taking 4, I have 2, 5, 3, minus 4 left. So, I'll put that together in a box to find their determinant. Sometimes we call it minor. So, that ends that part. I'll go ahead, pick 7. When I pick 7, 7 should take a plus sign. So, plus times 7, plus 7. When I pick 7, what do I have left? 7 is in the second row and what? The second column. So, 7 is in the second row, second column. Let me do that with the red. So I have 3, 5, 1 minus 4 left. I'll go ahead and put that together here. Then take 6. 6 should take a minus sign. Minus times 6 is minus 6. So that gives me what? Minus 6 times 3, 2, 1, 3. Is that clear? So I'll now evaluate this. Let's see how this is evaluated. I'll do 2 times minus 4, minus 8. 3 times 5, 15. Minus 8, minus 15. 
that's minus 23. That's what minus 4 times minus 23. I'll go ahead and do the second part plus 7, <clears throat> then 3 times minus 4. That's minus 12. <clears throat> 1 times 5, 5. Minus 12 minus 5, minus 17. That's plus 7 times minus 17, minus 119. Next is 3 times 3 here, 9. 2 times 1, 2. 9 minus 2, 7. So on evaluating, I'll get 92 minus 117. Minus 42. You press your calculator to get that. What does it give you? 92. 92. Minus 119. Minus 42. That gives me minus 69. So my determinant is what? Minus 69. Let's go to question 3. Our determinant here. We want to find our determinant along the what? Let's find our determinant along the third column. So in the third column, it means I'll take 7. When I take 7, what should be its sign? Plus. Its sign should be what? Plus. Let me try. So 7 times plus will give me plus 7. That's plus 7. When I cross plus 7, what do I have left? I've crossed or I've picked plus 7. I'll have 3, 0 and minus 2, 6 left. That gives me what? That gives me this. I'll keep it. I'll go next to 5 and take 5. 5, what should be its sign? Minus. So minus times 5 will give me minus 5. Is that clear? After taking 5, I have 1, 4 and minus 2, 6 left. Now 1, 4 and minus 2, 6. What does that mean? That's what? Minus 5 times 1, 4 minus 2, 6. So I'll keep that also. I'll now go to the next element in that column, which is 8. 8 should take a plus sign. 8 times plus will give me what? Plus 8. So that's what? That's what? 8. When I take 8, what do I have left after choosing 8 or after picking 8? I have 1, 4, 3, 0 left. So that's plus 8 times 1, 4, 3, 0. That gives me what? 8 times 1, 4, 3, 0. That's 7, then 18 minus minus 2. Sorry, 18 minus 0. Minus 2 times 0, 0. 3 times 6, 18. So that's plus 7 times 18 minus 0. And the next step here, minus 5. 1 times 6 is what? 6. So I write 6 down. Minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. That's 6 minus minus 8. That gives you what? 6 minus minus 8 is what? 6 plus 8. That's what? 14. So that gives me, on the next step here, plus 8. 1 times 0, 0. 3 times 4, 12. 0 minus 12. That's plus 8 times minus 12. So that gives me 8 times minus 12. So here, I have 7 times 8, 126. Minus 5 times 14. That's what, minus 70, then minus 96 to give me minus 40. That's how we find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. But I need to quickly do, I need to quickly do a, you know, a counter or a check. I need to quickly do a check just to show you that you always get the same answer, even if you take your, you always get the same answer, whatever row or column you choose to use for finding your determinant. So for question three here, let's find our determinant along the, you know, we just found our determinant along the third column. Let's now find our determinant along the what? The second row. So that means my determinant will be what? Okay, let me write the question down first. What do I have? 147305. One four seven three zero five minus two six eight minus two six eight. So my determinant is I'm using the second row. Second row plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus. The second row should be I take three. 
3 should be multiplied by minus sign, so that's minus 3. What do I have left? I'm taking 3. I will have 4, 7, 6, 8 left. Are you getting what I'm doing now? Very easy. So, so that's what I get. Okay, let me make that line go first. 4, 7, 6, 8. After taking that, let me go to the next value in that row is what? 0. So I'll take 0. 0 should take plus. Plus times 0. That's plus 0. What do I have left after taking 0? 1, 7, minus 2. I have 1, 7, minus 2, 8 left. So that's that. I'll go to the next value, which is 5. 5 should take a minus sign. Minus times 5, 5, minus 5. After picking minus 5, or after picking 5, I have 1, 4, minus 2, 6 left. 1, 4, minus 2, 6. So, this gives me what? Minus 3 times, this is 4 times 8, 32. Minus what? 42. 6 times 7 is 42, so that's 32 minus 42. All of this is 0, so I can just write 0. Minus 5 times 0. Then minus 5 times, this will give me what? 6 minus minus 8. So 6 minus minus 8. That gives you what? Minus 3 times 32 minus 42 is 10. That's minus 3 times 10 plus 0. Let's just make that disappear. Then minus 5 times 6 plus 8 is 14. So that's what? Minus 30 minus what? That's minus 30 minus 20. No, that's minus 30 minus 17. That's minus 30 minus 17. I hope I'm not making a mistake here. I'm supposed to get minus 40. Let me check my question first. Minus 2, 6, 8, 3, 0, 5, 1, 4, 7. Minus 3, 4, 7, 6, 8. This part is correct. Then plus 0, 1, 4, minus 2, 6. Can you see how prone this is to mistake? When I chose plus 0, when I chose plus 0, I'm supposed to have 1, 7, Minus 2, 8. Okay, that's also correct. Let me check the next, the last part. 5, that's minus 5. After choosing minus 5, I'm supposed to have 1, 4, minus 2, 6 left. Okay, let's now check our calculation. 4 times 8, 32. 6 times 7, 42. 32 minus 42, minus 10. That's where the mistake is. Minus 10. 32 minus 42 is minus 10 this should be minus 10 this should be minus 10 so that that's plus 30 so that that's what plus 30 minus 70 to give me what to give me minus 40 so we always get the same answer except there's a mistake for any row or column you choose your answer should be the same as you can see in question 3 our matrix the determinant of our matrix is minus 40 when we, you know, found the determinant along the third column here. And still minus 40 when we found the determinant along the what, second row. Although there was a mistake along the way. All right. Take this as your exercise. <coughs> Take this as your what? Exercise. Evaluate each of the following determinants. Evaluate each of the following determinants. Number one. Let me just give you a very simple question. Two minus one, three, four, five, one, zero, three, eight. Just two questions is okay. So, you know, for each question, you know, find determinant, find your determinant along 
one row and one column along a different row and a different column you can choose first you know first solution along the second row maybe second solution along the third column just try and alternate what you choose what row or column you choose to find your determinant on six nine seven four three minus five so find the determinant of each of these matrices